I hereby refer the message from His Excellency the, Excellency the President containing the names of the 16 nominees together with their curriculum vitae to the Committee on Appointments to undertake the necessary approval hearings. In a bid to beat the fast ticking time and ensure that cabinet secretaries take up their offices soonest, Parliament is moving with speed to fast track the process of vetting the nominees. The Appointments Committee has now published the names of the 16 cabinet secretary nominees for members of public to send any information or evidence against the nominees as required by the law. Kenyans are now required to forward any information that could be useful to either qualify or disqualify any of the nominees to the Appointments Committee. The actual public hearings will commence on 8th this month in a venue yet to be announced. That's one of our principal duties in leadership. The Appointments Committee is expected to thereafter prepare a report to be tabled in the National Assembly not later than 14th of this month. The report will then be a subject of debate and the House will either through consensus or voting determine the fate of the 16 Cabinet Secretary nominees. If Parliament adopts the report of the Appointments Committee, which will contain their recommendations on each of the individual nominee, then President Uhuru Kenyatta will act according to the recommendations of the report, which could either approve all the nominees or some of them. Thereafter, the Cabinet nominees who will be cleared by the House will be appointed and sworn in. If any of the nominees will be rejected by the National Assembly, the President and his deputy will pick replacements and deliver the names to the House for action. Ken Dagor Obadia, Citizen Live at 9.